what mistakes did uh Kalonzo Msioka make? Number one, he did not run as a presidential candidate. That is what he should have done. If he would have done that, he would have forced a runoff. He would have increased his negotiating power uh, during the uh, before the round two of the elections, and that would have saved him so much humiliation and so much disrespect that he's currently experiencing in Azimio One Kenya. All that uncertainty that he has, he has to sit down and wait for panels to talk, talk. He has to decide whether to go for interviews or not. All of that would have been avoided. And he would have seemed as a strong leader and he would have galvanized Ukambani, telling them that, you know what? We are not going to win. I am not going to win. But we are going to force a runoff where a negotiating power will be high. We are the ones who are going to decide who will become the president of the Republic of Kenya. And for that, they must give us this and this and that. So that was his first mistake, not running as a presidential candidate. The second mistake that Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Msioka made was trusting the president. Some people say trust is very expensive when you invest it in the wrong person. And this is what Kalonzo Msioka did. He trusted the president. And look where it has gotten him. Humiliation and disrespect and uncertainty. Remember, the president was the one who went to the ICC with Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Before the ICC, after the ICC, they prayed together. And after the president had gotten what he wanted, the first term, and now the second term, after he has gotten what he wanted, he betrayed his, uh, his deputy. Musalia Mudavadi, Moses Wetangula, they had seen the telltale signs of what Oka was about. Getting people together so that they can move them to the former Prime Minister, Raila Odinga. In other words, he was going to betray all of them, or one of them. And so Moses Wetangula and Musale Mudavadi said, I am going before I become, I be, the president betrays me. And so that was Stephen Kalonzo's Musioka's mistake, staying there, trusting the wrong person, investing in that person. And it was very expensive for him. And it is still expensive. He should have gone alone. He should have run around alone as president. The third mistake that Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Msioka made was going for the interview. We all know that that interview, you were the most qualified. No, nobody had ever be, been a uh, vice president. No one holds the kind of national portfolio that you have as a special envoy. You are a very good negotiator. You've done that a lot of times. And you have the political clout. You're the only kingpin of a region in that panel. You have stood by the former prime minister 2013, 2017. So there was no reason to go for that panel. It was obvious who the choice should be if it's in an interview. But they had to take you through that. Why? Because they don't want you. And you know that. So why would you go for the interview? Honestly speaking, especially when you know that it reduces your chances of ever vying again. Next time you want to vie for the presidency, people will say, you went to a panel and they rejected you as deputy president. So now how can we accept you as president? You should have not gone for that interview. But you trusted the wrong person. Mistake number two. That led to mistake number three. Let's go to mistake number four. The fourth mistake that you made was waiting for somebody to select you. You should not have done that. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. You have to choose your path. Do not wait for people to pick you on some chance. Don't wait for that. Take, make a choice and go for it. Remember, fortune favors the bold. Do not sit around. Do not wait around to be picked. 
to be selected. Go for what you think you deserve in politics. And in this way, you can force people's hand. You should have gone, run as a president, uh, increased your negotiating power, and then taken what you wanted, the running mate slot, and then use that running mate slot to now start your, uh, you know, preparing for 2027. But you didn't do that. Mistake number four. That was it. Waiting for them to pick you.